Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my uh, Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day what? 44 now. So we've gone by two days with no horde, which means it could either come today or tomorrow. One of the two, I'm hoping it's tomorrow. I'm just waiting for the last couple things here to finish up being made. Uh, we've got some lights. So uh, those are the steel hatches, which we'll leave for now. We can go with iron tonight. If we get a horde, I've got everything unloaded up here so that if we do need to fight the horde, if we get the base done, then we can just stay over there and work uh, on that base. Got some more concrete coming here. Let's get another thousand uh, concrete sh or a hundred concrete shapes moving. We've got 478. I think that's more than enough. That's like, you know, over half of what we had last time. Uh, let's see, we're bringing some con regular concrete with us. We've got a whole bunch of steel. Some forged iron. We don't have a lot, but we have enough. I've got four switches. I've got four electrical fence posts, some gas. Uh, what am I missing here? The door to escape. I got the hatches for the front. Steel to upgrade. Mm, I think we're probably... I'm not going to need the bailout hatch, I don't think. There's another 100 steel done. We'll bring that with us. Forged iron's already done. I got some armor piercing and regular bullet tips working in there. We've got, there's our last hatch. We've got some coil batteries and some coil ammo working in here. And nothing going on in there. I need, I need stone. I'm like way out of stone here. All right, let's get over there because we've got to get going. <sighs> so much to do, so little time. Once the horde base is, oop. Screw you. Of course, you're going to drop something now. Jacket, we'll take it. All right, let's bring these down and let's get over there. If we get super lucky, we'll be inside here when a wandering horde shows up. And they will. Let's just park the bike here for now. Um, what do we work on first? The steps, I think. Uh, I gotta make sure I get this right, though. I don't want to screw it up like I did last time. So let's get the regular stairs here. Just to make sure I've got this. I'm pretty sure I do. It's four and two. Ah, uh, worst case scenario, we fight a horde on foot. Not like I can't do that. Three. Right. That's stair, stair, stair. And then this becomes... Four. Two. Two. That'll be the corner block. Like that. Like that and like that. And this and this are corner blocks. Is that going to be high enough? Or do I want to go one more? Hmm. Once it's in, it's in. If I go one more... Out. That means we're coming up to... Now we're not. I'd have to move all this back into here, too. Which means that becomes another block. Nope. I think we go this route. Ah, uh, it just offers so much for them to knock out, though. You know what? Let's do this. Pick all this up. I gotta make sure that coming up here, they've got plenty of space. So I want this to be... Like this is the last thing they come up here and then it just narrows. So we need to be out one block here. Why do I feel like I'm making a mistake here? No. We gotta do it. It's gotta be one more wide. It definitely has to be one more wide. Okay, now this should be solid. Because then it'll taper at the top. If the zombies don't have access to me, it's going to be a bad time. They have to we have to, I have to make sure they have no problems at all getting out to me. Shit, I, I should have made that... Uh, mm.
That'll have to do. All right, now we need the pillars. So the first pillar I want not here. Like, let's put it right in front of the turret. So right here. Okay. And then we do... Shit, those should have all been angle blocks. Okay, um, I want plates for this. So here's my thought. Um, so this is how I built it before. The benefit of plates is it's easier to see under them when you're inside. And they're not any less weighty, they weigh the same. Okay, my second pillar. I don't want to give them too, too much to bang on. So, one, two, three, four, five. Is there. And we want another... I may add more pillars later, but one, two, three, four, five. And then one out in front. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, let's get across here. That was a fun bounce. Okay. Let's keep it that way for now. Now here we want to go with... Angles. Probably, we're going to go out too. So let's go with... Uh, angles this guy and we want to go um, advanced like that and we're gonna go like this one two three because that's all we need one two Three. Yep. So the other thing, the other, the other benefit of this is that when if the demons do get around to see me, like if we're in a ridiculous position where it's just demons, um, and we can't fight them through there because we're getting overwhelmed, we can close those shutters up. They can't see us. They're not going to be shooting at us. They're going to try and get around to get us. And the way this is set up is this will limit their ability to see me, right? They've got to come right here to be able to see me. At which point we can hose them down. Or I might put up another I might put up another junk sledge out here. But this is where we're going to be fighting right here. So in here, let's go with um full block shapes, I think. Ooh, do I want to go out one more? Like, do I have... Like, we put a wire fence there, wire fence there. At head level. I could go head and foot level. And then our fighting platform is here. I gotta decide. Or is our fighting position here? And the outer hatch is here. That would be the hatch. So my position is here.
I gotta do it. I gotta get this built because if I don't... We're not going to have a horde base. One thing I don't have is turrets for the birds. Okay, so that's no problem there. Um, so then we go with the roof. Yep, horde tonight. Alright, we got to try and run this base, I think. Yeah, I'm worried now. So what do I upgrade? Probably not the stairs. So the roof will be one up from here. That's the ex escape hatch. Always got to have an escape hatch. Now I've had um, screamers glitch through a uh, five block thick wall and get into my tunnel before in there so I gotta be careful about that all right so this is gonna be the roof here for now I'm just gonna go one thick concrete and then afterwards I gotta figure out what I want to do I mean Suck your buy are gonna tear the tear the roof a new one. Uh, later stages, I don't know how long, how far away we got to go for those, but it'll be a little while yet. But they will tear the roof off of this place. So here comes the wandering horde. Hey guys, you're just coming at a bad time. Is there a big guy there, or is it just all idiots? Just idiots. All right, not that worried. Maybe I can. Burn through them with some Molotovs here. Okay, I don't see anybody else over there. All quiet. Did we get lucky with a crappy wandering horde? Somehow I don't think so. I don't think there, I think there's more of them. They just haven't all uh, come over here yet. They're banging on those pillars now. All right, now uh, I should have left a hole for the roof. Oh God, I don't want to deal with these guys right now. Uh, most of them are dead. Uh, let's just go this route. Come on. Actually, you know what? I don't have all my gear for the horde. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we are in trouble. I think we got to go back to the old base. Oh, man. I don't really want to do that, though. Okay, we need this one. Uh, advanced rotation. I discovered a little trick here. Um, the one will go two or just one. I'm going to go that. So they see that as a path to, to walk on. And yeah, you know, people, a lot, of, a lot of people use it so that you can knock them off there really easy. And I totally get that. But one thing I don't think you realize, or I didn't realize, is that apparently if you put a hatch on top of that block and open it up, the zombies, for some reason, no longer see this as a viable path. So if I'm getting overwhelmed, which is possible. Okay, I'll connect this later. Leave it like that for now. Uh, the stairs aren't even done. I mean, they can just hobble up the blocks. Okay, let's get this in here. Oh, man. So if I go, we need that hatch and that hatch. And that hatch. These need to be steel. This needs to be steel. OK, 
Okay, and I think probably this as well. In case we get a demo here. This is where having a watch would come in handy, but you know me. You know me. All right, so let's get our electric fences down. And we want to go advanced rotation. One, two. One, two. Okay, let's get our door on there. Um, come on, man. Focus. All right. Um, advanced. Where are you here? Okay, that's going to go like that. We're not going to get spitters I don't, that are going to destroy this because it'll be down for now. So where are you here? You can go there. Six. Um, that's good enough for now. I'll worry about switches another time, but for now let's get it wired up. Across to here. Okay, so we got we got fences. Okay, so if anybody's right in front of the door. Alright, now um let's just create a st storage chest, get this put down. Just for now. Okay, what do I what don't I need right now? Those guys, those guys. I gotta upgrade these, so let's go do that. So these are forged iron. I got the steel ones working at home. I gotta go home anyway. I gotta grab all my, my horde gear. I should probably go do that now. If we're gonna fight the horde here. Uh, let's just pick up these guys. Because there's a chance that zombies could glitch in there. I'm just gonna fill that up like that for now. They might glitch inside. <sighs> do you feel the panic yet? I do. It's palpable. You know what I'm talking about, pal pal palpable? That thing. Alright, so we want to go there. We don't have the other one in yet. Yeah, so we can still put these down if we had to. Cool. Alright. Um, let's go finish the walkway, because we can always retreat back in there now. We've got the doors and everything. Electrical fences up. Two, three, and then right here. Um, we want these guys. So we can lay down these guys. Which one's my... Is there a better one? I got one with it. Yeah, this one. So this one's my better of the two. Because it's got the weighted head. So it goes there. Second guy is going to go... Here, I also outfitted my dart traps. So we've got armor shredder, and this guy's got a whole ton of shit on it, so that'll help out if we have to. We can just throw one down at the front door. Um, eventually, I want to get a third spot for a sledge, like right here, to punt them away from the door. Okay, let's pick up all these frames. Then what we're going to do is we're going to head back. Man, I'm panicking. We don't even have the stairs in. We'll head home, we'll grab all of our... Wait, is all our weapons back at the old place? Oh, let's go home and find out. Oh man, I don't like this. So our current base now is pretty much where our old base was. We don't have the full stairs in. Um, but it's basically the same as our old base it's concrete they've got a way to get up to us we've got two sledge turrets although they can't see us which is good and then um electric fences so we should just have to focus on the guys at the door if that's all i want to do tonight that's what i can do park right here so if all we have to do is focus on the guys at the door then tonight should go okay Behemoths, if we get them, 
we probably will get them. We'll probably make it to the door. You'll be surprised at actually how many of them get knocked off that. There's my shutters. Oh yeah, nice, we did an overflow. Another 72 blocks, beautiful. How much concrete do we have in here? A bunch. Um, let's make 100 in there. Uh, we got, well, we got, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it for now. Okay, um, stop panicking, you're gonna be okay. Are you? Are you really? Okay, uh, we want this stuff. That stuff. We don't have any room, we don't have any place for grenades and stuff. Uh, let's take some extra dart ammo just in case. Exploding crossbow bolts. Yeah, let's, let's take them. We might use it. Okay, so weapons-wise, what do we have here? Okay, we do have our weapons here. You and you. Now, you're maxed out, right? Yeah, so I put a bunch of stuff on here. We've got the Blessed Metal mod. Okay, we don't have rad removers or anything, but we do on this guy. So that's fine. Okay, I don't feel so bad now. Gonna leave the rocket launcher out. There's no real room for it in this base, unfortunately. Uh, we got more cross exploding crossbow bolts. Let's put the dynamite in here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think we got this. All right, got the ammo's done. Let's put that away. Uh, why? Why am I doing that now? I don't know. Um, I can make more ammo, but I'm not going to leave that for now. Okay, there was nothing else in there that we needed. That's just concrete. Nothing else in there. All right, well. Oh, um, food and drink. Medical supplies. Ah, oh, man. So I'm thinking we missed most of that wandering horde. I think there was more to it, but they just didn't uh, show up. So, okay, let's take you. Let's take you. Uh, a few of you. A few of you. We're going to leave these over there anyway, so I'll take a few more of you, a few more of you. Uh, what else? Take a... Um, take three of you. Take a stack. Actually, we'll take the four stack. Minor bandages if we don't need. Let's grab some of you. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think we've got enough. Uh, let's eat before we go, though, so I don't have to worry about that. Actually, I'll take these. No, I think we're good. Uh, let's have one of these guys before we go. I'm interested to see, though, um, if we can get some spear action in at that front door. I mean, we're at a point now where it's, like, not really doing a lot of damage, but if the zombies aren't so tough... If we get Screamo Hordes too, after this, we may have to just bail out. Get the hell out. We're going to park the bike around back. And I'm going to immediately begin work on those stairs. I shouldn't go too far that way in case the rest of the watering hordes over there. I don't see anybody. Alright, the bike will stay here. Now, um... Let's gas it up. Now, it doesn't run anyway on Horde Night, but it's there just in case. Okay, so now let's get these updated. We got the steel ones, so let's do it. And I'm going to put some splash protection here. Because we're going to get caught, 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 caught vomit. All right, let's go on face. Um, go across here. And I think we go like that, because that's where we're going to be. And then maybe under here as well. All right, now. Um, I 
The whole walkway's got to be steel. Okay. Just in case some people blow up here. Alright, how much are we dealing with steel-wise now? We still got a bunch. Another... 90 blocks. Okay, let's make the pillars steel. Come on. Shit, didn't mean to do that. All right, now shape. The biggest structural problem tonight is going to be this. So if we can clear a bunch of this up, because if a demo gets gets punted and they go off down here, I gotta make sure that at least they don't start hammering on the walls, like underneath the walls here. Now eventually this will all be steel as well. Like, as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the primary um, imp most important parts of the base here. They can't blow a hole through this because if they do, then they're just going to be digging down and doing stuff on Horde Night you don't want them to do. Let's get this all filled in. Oops, well, not with that, though. Okay, that's the stairs. And now shape. Let's get... I need angle. Do they have angled plates? I don't think they do. There might be... Do I worry about it tonight? I'm not going to worry about it for tonight. I don't have time. Alright, we need corner blocks, so stairs. Corner stairs, where are you? Uh, let's go with these guys. Alright. Oh, hey! So this guy was from the other from the watering horde. I wonder if they, uh... Oh, that's a nice drop! They, he must have just run by. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, we want that there. That there. I think this was right. Even if they break that, they'll still come up here. They'll get punted, punted. Down into there. Then they gotta come all the way around here to the door where they can't see me. As soon as they can see me, it's like right here. And I'll be on them. Alright, now we need plates. Uh, shape. So there is, if I remember correctly, this guy, uh, advanced. So we want to put these like that. And there probably. Yeah, I think I have to. It's a full block. Oops, I want copy rotation. And then we do shape, plate, and then we do on face. I don't think we need it there, but these I think need to be... So we need to put here... Uh, advanced. I want to keep... Shit. No, I know what we're going to do. Um, shape, we want to go this route and this way. And if we do on face, like that. I should have made... Yeah, no, that'll be fine. And then we go shape, we want to go this guy. Copy rotation. Like that. That'll, that should keep them away from the, the, the front door here. Okay, now shape, plates. Man, running out of time. Want to go on face. Um, and 
And now we want to go under here. Okay. Last plates. Let's update that too. Alright, I'm feeling better now. Feeling better now. I think we'll be okay. Now we need to get a post. Shape. Um, something for them to bang on. And then advanced. It's just one less... One more block that they gotta bang to get to me, right? Mm, yeah. I think I'll make that stainless. So they got two steel blocks. Let's close these up. We should be able to reach... Yep. And yep. Close these guys up. That's already steel. How much blocks? Okay, we still got a little bit here. So just where they could possibly hit me. So right there, I think, if I can get underneath. Nope. Well, at least it's super well protected. I can't get under there. There we go. What about this block? Did we get this one updated? We did not. A little bit of extra blast protection. All right, well, I think we're going to be as safe as we ever can be now. I don't know about birds. We want to just throw a junk turret down up there. I don't even have a ladder up upstairs yet either. I don't know. If they break blocks, they break blocks. Not much I can do. But I mean, I could throw a turret down up there. But I have no way to refuel it. I could re Unless we do... Um this. So right here. I'm going to be standing there and there. So we want the turret like right kind of here. This may be stupid, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm going to take this block out. We're going to place it over the railing because we can see through the railing. I think we can just drop the junk turret down above the railing. And I know we can pick it up through the railing. I've seen Guns, Nerds, and Steel do this and I want to try it. Because I've never actually tried it. It's kind of, I mean, it's not cheating because it's in the game, but it just feels cheaty-ish because how do you actually get the, the, the turret through here, right? I mean, you could say the same about a lot of things. So if we do that, don't have any cobble, but that's fine. And then we grab our good junk turret, which is fully loaded. Yeah, because then we can just pick it up, reload it, and then drop it down again. All right, we have AA defense. We have the ammo to handle that. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We need to put these up at another time. We don't need those now. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Hang on to that in case they break hatches. That can go in there. I got to get on my guns and ammo sorted here. I'm not going to put that in there in case that gets destroyed. I'm going to keep this down. That These need to be this for pulling up somewhere if I have to. can do that. I wonder if I should put up... Ooh, might be worth it. Putting up railings here. Actually, let's go and do... I've seen spider zombies glitch into the most unusual places. So, like, up these railings. Um, like, blocks that they should not be, like, getting into, I've seen them get into. Like, I had wire fences underground once, and they were, like, everything else was filled in with these blocks, except for where these were, so they shouldn't have been able to glitch through into these blocks, but they somehow got into the wire fence space. And they wreck my wire fences. So I don't know how they did it, but I'm going to do that in case they do glitch through. Hopefully I'll be able to hear them breaking it. 
All right, so that's the that's the base anyway. All right, we don't need you out. Well, we better keep it out. You, you, and you, and you, and you can go away. Let's bring down you, and you, and we didn't bring the crossbow. <laughs> I got the bolts, but I don't have the crossbow. It's probably for the better anyway. I'll just end up killing myself with it. Um, I know I'm forgetting something. I know I'm forgetting something. Actually, what I'm going to do, because we have to do this anyway eventually, is shape. Plates, where are you? Plates, plates, plates. Here. So eventually we have to go around and plate all this up. So I'm going to do it now, just in case the demo goes off on the catwalk. It'll do less damage to the steel. Because you want this double thick regardless. I mean, I should put the turrets on this as well, but oh, we have time. So, the thing about the plate, too, right here, is they when they come up here, believe it or not, they stop for a second and actually jump up on the plate. It's a little weird, but that's what happens. I'm going to put plates on top here, too. And then probably, if we go on face, let's go down here. Do what we did before. A little bit like that should help. We got the concrete. Let's use it to make sure we're doing the most protection. I mean, I don't know. This will be fine, I think. It should be fine. That's got to be angles. Uh, the plate's down far enough there. Let's make sure that's done. Make sure that's done. And at least this one. Because that's where the wire fences are. Actually, we'll do those as well. That as well. Alright, well. That's the generic base build. Anyway, all this has to get dug out and replaced with solid blocks. Actually, let's go... I have my shovel, do I? My shovel. We got a few minutes left. I'm gonna just dig this out. Alright, I feel a little better about that now. Okay, well, moment of truth. Alright, so we got these concrete blocks on us just in case. Backup turret just in case. Don't need that on our hands. Uh, let's bring... The primaries down here. Secondaries down here. Using the coil rifle, I think, primarily tonight. Coil shotgun is secondary. And then these guys, tertiary. You want to try and save ammo. Alright, that stays down. This comes up. So that's the, that's the oh shit emergency hatch. We pull that up and theoretically they won't see this as an access to me anymore. Now if they don't come to me at the door I gotta put a plate in here. I should actually have one plate ready just in case. Um, just in case. Ah for fuck's sakes, really? Okay. Put you there. Bring you down. Alright, we got a couple of other things on us here we don't need right now. You can go in there. You put those guys in there. I, I might need this. Let's bring it down. Don't need the wire tool. Don't need you. Don't need you. Let's uh, take this back to zero. Don't need the stone. Might need the wood. Don't need the locker, so. Or the one jar. I want to keep a second one of these down. The meat stew can just stay in here. Ooh, I don't know, man. I'll use one of these before we start.
See? That should work just fine. And the thing is, we're trying for headshots here as they're coming up, and then straight into them here. Once we get the armor-piercing ammo, we should be able to shoot straight through them. The shorter zombies, we can go for headshots on. The bigger ones, most likely they'll get knocked down. If they don't, they're going to come to this door, and we're going to handle them here. Actually, I'm going to put this up just in case. Actually, I'm not going to. We don't need it. We don't need it down. Man, I'm nervous. This should work just fine. This might cause a problem. I may have to go with the other one. The, the thinner one. Alright, let's see what our skill points are. Actually, let's see what our game stage is to see if we pass 200. We did. We're at 202. Okay. 14... 14 sorry, 4458 kills. 4 random player kills. 0 deaths. 92 level. Uh, what do we have for skill points? We got 7. You know, I should be more diligent about spending them, but... I should... Gonna do that. That has to be done. This has to be done. Now, shotguns we've got maxed out. Farmer shotgun we've got maxed out, I believe. Right, yes. Is there anything we definitely wanted? Salvage operations, maybe? We got three points left, right? So tool crafting we could do. I could go armor crafting. Better butter's maxed. Do it yourself is maxed. Pack mule. What are we at? Hmm, maybe pack mule? Because we're going to have to cross... You know what? This is two points, right? Yeah. Because we're going to be crossing... That's three points. We're going to be crossing the uh, wasteland very shortly. So that as much of this as we can get, the better. Alright, I think we're good. Well, you know what Thought did, right? Let's pull these out. Gonna need those for repairs. Don't think I'm gonna need that, but I'm gonna keep it on me anyway. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, let's turn this on, though. Before I forget. Chunk turrets up there. Alright, we're just waiting for the horde now. Come on, guys. Let's get it done. So once again, the benefit of this here is that we've got open sight. I think I should change this block to a full ramp block. We've got open sight down here, so if people are hitting on this, we can just shoot them. Right? We're not impeded by these very much, so we can see people going up the walkway there. Now, this also means cops and stuff can see us here and here. But when we're here like this, they can't. Right? And then what we're going to do eventually is we're going to put plates up the side here a little bit. Uh, and out a bit as wings, so that when they're going up the stairs, they, the demons can't see me either. Um, so that the only place they'll spit at me is right here, at which point I can just kind of like, if I have to, if it gets too crazy, we just step aside. Or we can close these up, and then we can just fight them over here if we have to. Hopefully. Alright, 24 zombie horde. Who knows? I mean, I might turn it up to, to 32. I think after we go through the, wa the wasteland and we do the research bunker, which we haven't done yet, once we go through, once we go do that, I might turn it up to 32 just to see how the base does, but we'll have to play a few few Horde Knights first just to see how it, we can handle it here. Once this is all stainless too, actually I should probably, how much iron? Steel, we got a bit. Should probably put those to stainless as well. Is the plate above the door stainless? Ow. No, but it is now. Yeah, just in case we get those big guys tonight. The big um, behemoths that do a lot of block damage. That'll save our bacon, I think. Anyway, as you can see, it's a pretty low footprint base. And, you know, if you use this as your home base, which I recommend if you're doing, like, hordes, like even in regular darkness, or regular uh, seven days to die, Building a blockhouse like this makes it very difficult for the zombies to get to you, like underneath. And then if you build a base that, you know, you go down here, like this is all solid. If you can make it solid steel, make it solid steel. But go all the way down to bedrock and make a mine. And you can even put your house down there if you wanted to. So, and if you had turrets up here turned on all the time, like those sledges won't be working. But if you had turrets like here facing the door... Um, or even like up on the roof facing the catwalk or whatever if a screamer shows up and tries to come down this way Which they probably won't they'll probably try to dig down to you But if you have the guns up high facing down 
they can clear out the screamers so you don't have to worry about them coming after you but it's a pretty it's a pretty you know I don't know I like this design because it's simple you know we're gonna go with this gun first come on you bastards This base just shreds hordes. If you got the ammo. I'm gonna go crazy a little bit with this gun at the beginning. Uh, because I want to score as many hits as I can. I think if you were playing with 64 zombies, you'd probably want to have um, you'd probably want to have like another sledge out there to mitigate them. Like they're not even coming to the door. They shouldn't. I mean, they haven't been able to the past few hordes. But the bonus is I've got that uh, rad remover now in the turret too. So these guys are actually hitting down. This is another reason why you want that second plate on the uh, walkway. Seems to be working out right. The stairs seem to be not tripping them up any. I don't think I'm going to have to do anything to the stairs. Do do do. Now for throwables and stuff. I don't know. Let's see if we can get a Molotov through there. Nope. Apparently not. I, I, I don't know if the shutters actually block that. Let's see if we can get one from here. Yeah, you can. So, I mean, if you want to use throwables... Oh, I didn't bring repair kits. Yeah, it's the one thing I didn't bring. Come on, you bastards. So, I mean, like... Is it a sniper base? Not really, but for regular zombies it is. And later on when the demons come, you've got an opportunity to headshot them as they're coming up the ramp. Now, of course, on a... Um, see if that guy actually makes it through. Oh, he does. What I like to do is to put up a SMG turret right here facing that door. So when you hear it go off, then you know you have to go over there. Mind you guys, I'll wait for phase two now. Oops. Did that guy just evaporate? Yeah, these guys are swinging down. So there's going to be a bit of repair. Yeah, I think this block here needs to be the smaller one. I don't know. Let me know. That, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I mean, for smaller size hordes like this, this base is really good.
We're definitely going to have more bags than we've been getting in the past, that's for sure. But I just got to keep up with ammo production. So what we'll probably do... I really want to go down to that research lab, but we'll probably do one more horde here, and I'm going to get everything loaded up here. Um, and ready to go, so that once the, once the next horde finishes, we're taking off. We may get... Um, it's going to be tricky. We, we may get um, demons down there. I'm not sure what stage demons come at, but... I think the research lab, though, the, um, the game stage has increased down there, so... The other thing I don't like is this the zombie goop that just hovers. But a good shotgun blast handles that. Okay, here comes the next phase. Oh, well, there you go. Demon spiders. Was a demon spider. Oh, we got somebody crawling over here. Did I leg you? I must have... Oh, that guy's gone. The other thing you can do is if you can put a sledge turret... Like, I thought about putting it right here to knock them off right here. But if you put another sledge turret, you can probably clean up any additionals. You know? Cop. Was a cop. Well, he fell off. Fences are working, right? Stop making them go fast. Oh, here comes, here comes a behemoth. Yeah, they're going to have, like, a really hard time. Oh, we got a guy at the door. Oh, we had a guy at the door. He's going to blow up. Damn it. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I think the base is doing pretty well. Oh, I think the bird got killed up there too. So I want to test something. If we lift that up... They see that as still a pathway to get to me now. They do. Oh, hey, buddy. Well, that's good. I thought they wouldn't. You know what? The last time I did this, I had to, to block this on the side. I had it over here. I wonder if that makes a difference. Oop. All right, let's see how much he did here. Like, barely anything. Whoop. So we're on warrior difficulty, too, just in case you're wondering what the difficulty is. I haven't switched that. I pretty much always play on warrior. I have done, like, insane before. Oh, somebody broke a block somewhere. The horde intensifies. Probably one of these big guys. Oh, hey.
dance for me, big boy. It's weird how they crouch like that all of a sudden. Hmm. You get the shotgun. And so do you. Okay, now... Why are they getting through? Hmm... Hmm... Hey guys, hang on, I gotta get- I'm gonna have some lunch. Delicious. Oh, he fell off. So these things are still working. Uh, I better reload this thing. Uh, where are you? Here we go. What are you at? Oh, you got lots. So there hasn't been a lot of birds. Yeah, I gotta dial back my ammo use now. So, for the next horde, all my weapons need to have the shock mod, mod on. I for completely forgot to do that. Because it really just um, allows you to go for headshots here. Well, you got in, did you? Leads me to believe I did that wrong. Because I had them get to me before, but... Or get up there before. But, um... They were never able to get in. Hmm. Yeah, I see, Kappa. Well, he's going down. Ah, I didn't get him in time. Hmm. Yeah, it works pretty good. And if you're doing this every seven days... Like, I mean, you can generate, you can have so much ammo. And it's really a point, like, if, if you, ah, oh, there's another cop. They're doing a bit of damage down here, but once it's stainless steel, we're on the last of the horde here. She's been kicking around for a while. Did I just hear a screamer? How much ammo do we have? A couple grand. I know we got, we're gonna have more. Where are we? I better hold off. This should make some more storage crates. You know, at any point of the night, too, you can just close these shutters and just, like, and just go, like, well, that's the end of my night. I don't have to do any more. And just kill the guys at the door. Let's put them down here for now. For the loot in the morning. So, yeah, for the next couple of days, we're going to enhance the base. And then just to a point where I'm comfortable. And then we'll set up and just get the hell out of here. After the next horde.
and we'll head right down to the research bunker. I'll probably have to go down with coil stuff. And let's hope we can get, um... Thought there was somebody inside there for a second. Let's hope we can get some stuff from Jen. Like, if we can get the, uh... Come on. Die. If we can get the, uh... Laser workbench from her. Trying to get that cop. I think I got him. Yeah, not bad. I feel pretty comfortable about this now. At least for the next few hordes. You're still kicking around. Okay, where are you? You still got a lot of health. Are you a new one, or are you... There goes the cop. Okay, she's done. I think there's a second one. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I mean, you can also throw grenades down there, too, right? And out the door. I think that what I thought was a screamer is actually her. Alright, there's the morning. Now you're loaded, right? Yep. Alright, let's get you down. Oh, I didn't use a, uh, wait a minute. All right, let's not have a repeat of last time. Take that, use this. All right. Let's bring you there and you down. Oh, I should probably turn those electrical fences off before I get caught with my pants down. Now, let's hope. See ya. Oh, he pushed me off, the bastard. All right, well, we're fighting like this. Just the three of you. And that's it for the horde. Oh, okay. Now. At least I'm pretty sure that's it for the horde. I don't have anything to harvest that thing with. Let's get back, get all our loot here. I'm interested to see how much of this we get. So tomorrow's episode will be really short. Um, I am going to make the repairs to this place and get it up and running. 
He's inside. I knew it. They glitched through the walls, man. There's more than one in there, too, I think. Oh. So they did, uh... Do some damage down here. Okay, we'll get it updated to steel. Concrete's cheap. And they gotta pull so many of these blocks out before they can actually do anything to me. I'd like to know how they glitch through. It might be, like, when they jump or something? Can you tunnel in? Yeah, I know, see? They glitch through somehow. I'll get those guys in a second here. So no Screamer today. Those little turrets did really well. I think that's what we do from now on to clean up the horde. Just throw those turrets down. Alright, we gotta take this stuff inside. So we can throw them down. Yeah, they did some damage here. We can throw these things down there. And then, um... Or we could just go out on foot. You know? Looks like there's some good stuff here. Alright, come back in a second and have a look. Kill those two little shits in there too. Hopefully we got a good number of pages. Alright, once this is all stainless, it won't be so bad, but like I said, they could pull these things out and nothing will happen. Everything should still be fine. All this has got to be done out here as well. Like, all this needs to be, like, updated to steel. Everything under here, if we can, updated to steel. Alright, let's see now. I should probably just, uh... Let's put you guys down there. I can probably just drop... One down, two, three, Jesus, they did not have a good day down there. <laughs> that was pretty damn quick, um, uh, yeah, copy shape, and then rotation we do like this, interested to see, so that's where the turret is technically. Interested to see. So they did some work in here. So yeah, this is what I mean about this having to be all closed off. And the problem with this too here is these. They'll sometimes even glitch into here. So I think what we have to do is have the top two. Maybe we just have them all shapes. Because I can just replace them easily. Anyway, I'm going to like, just take a look at the uh, loot, what we got here. So we didn't do too, too bad. Now this is the stuff we started with. So we got some more weapon parts, some stuff to sell, some more uh, M4s, M4A1s. That is, military armor we can combine, a bunch of this stuff that we could just go ahead and scrap. A little bit of food, anything good in here. Master Sergeant Porkins' shotgun. Which isn't too bad if I was just starting out. That can get scrapped. That can get scrapped. Uh, well, draw kit we'll hang on to because we have to make first aid kits. So we didn't get a lot of stuff. Nothing really, really usable. I mean, we got a 55 shotgun. Some stuff to repair our stuff with. All right. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. When we come back tomorrow, like I said, we're going to be uh, probably going to go on a trader run first, and we're going to come back out, fix the base. Um, and we'll see. We'll go. We'll go from there. There should be a wandering horde coming by anytime now. Anyway, hopefully they, they come by when I'm on my bike. All right. Until next time. We'll see y'all later.